The fair fun continues every day this week. Yeah, PA Live hosts Rachel Malik, Chris Bohinski joining us live from Columbia County with a look at what's happening. We both agree, I think it's going to be really hard to top the last uh, live shot with the Campbell, but go ahead. <laughs> Well, look at this. I think we can do it. Nick and Kenneth, I think we can top it. We are literally sky high in Columbia County right now, taking in the sights, the sounds, and the smells of the 169th Bloomsburg Fair. Chris, how are we feeling? Many props to our photographer, Rowan, and who Ro. is giving us this bird's eye view of the fair. Such a fan favorite. Can we talk about the Bloomsburg Fair? I mean, let's just talk about how it originated as a street carnival back in the fall of 1855. Wow. So just think of how many years ago. That was when Franklin Pierce was the 14th president of the United States. And James Pollock from Northumberland County was the 13th governor of Pennsylvania. They wanted to do some sort of a street carnival. From there, it turned into a few day festival. And now it's turned into the nine day, what we know as the Bloomsburg Fair. Yeah, so much history matched, matched with so much new and fun excitement happening each and every year. We're on year 169, as Chris mentioned, and like we've been highlighting here on 2822 News, the fun, the excitement, the innovation, it just keeps happening. I mean, we just rode a camel, and now we're back to one of the traditional features with the sky ride here. This is incredible, and you can see so many smiling faces. Finally, we had a little break in the weather after a drizzly day yesterday, and you can see people really appreciate the chance to take it all in to the fullest. You're seeing Bloomsburg at its absolute most beautiful at an event like this. You're and on it's really TV special right to now. be a part of. Look at these people hey. enjoying the ride. And we love it. special shout out to Aiden, who we just saw on the sky ride. He wanted to say hi. Remember, there's more than just food at the Bloomsburg Fair. You have the agriculture and educational buildings. You have the grandstand. Yep. You have so much stuff. Family friendly. Come on down. Totally. And coming up next, a little later on after 530, we're going to be talking more about the history of the Bloomsburg Fair and really putting it into perspective for everybody at home. So for now, I think we'll just sit back and enjoy the ride. No potty breaks this break, you guys. I don't know how you guys are feeling in the studio. <laughs> uh. Yeah, yeah, the Porta Johns don't go up that high. <laughs> yeah, hey, good job. That's great. And you get a nice view, bird's eye view of the fair. So relaxing. Yeah, thanks, you guys. We'll yeah. see you in a bit. West.